Hi guys, today's reading is going to be a love message. We're going to take a look and see what messages the tarot guides would like for you to know at this particular point in time. It is a general reading, but you'll know it's meant for you if there's resonance. So if the messages resonate with you, you know that it's your reading. If they don't, that's okay. Don't try and force it. it. Just let things flow. Oh, and just a reminder as well, if you are interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. At the bottom of the deck is the Five of Swords. This is an interesting kind of energy, but with the Five of Swords, um, it feels like there is a turbulent situation that you are dealing with or have dealt with, and it feels like you're still energetically tied to this situation or to this particular person. The Five of Swords, the tumultuous uh, clouds in the background indicate that there is still some turbulent energies between you and this person. It's even if things may have ended, even if you may have walked away from this person or if they have walked away from you emotionally and energetically they're still tied to you or you feel like you're still tied to them or to this relationship. You might be finding it difficult to move on from this person. You might be struggling. Maybe you're struggling to let things go. Maybe you're struggling to let go of the past and what was. Maybe you're struggling to come to terms with what has happened here or you're just struggling to let go of this person. Um, despite you trying very hard be careful with the seven of wands energy because it is this energy of whatever you resist continues to persist and i think that the harder you try the harder it feels like the harder it becomes to let go of this person or let go of this uh, situation it does feel like with the six of swords energy there is this energy of you wanting to move away you wanting to move away from the past move away from this person or from this situation or you're just trying to move on from what has happened here but you're still energetically your your energy feels like it's tied down or perhaps this is your person's energy they still like the energy feels bogged down by all of this emotional chaos or this heaviness i feel like there is someone that you know what this could be i feel like there's someone here who spends a lot of their time thinking about you and this person holds a lot of regret in their energy and there's quite a heavy energy around this person and it's almost like there's some sort of dark cloud this dark cloud i feel like is symbolic of their thoughts the fact that they're stuck in the past or the fact that they're they keep reliving this storm and i think this is one of the things that makes it hard for you to move on from this person or even let go of them energetically because they keep thinking about you and in constantly thinking about you because you've had such a strong connection with this person you are so strongly connected to one another that you're picking up on this person's energy you're picking up on their resonance 
for both of you, it appears, it appears as though the both of you ha resonate with the energy that you're thinking about each other. So if this person is thinking about you, it's pulling on your energy and you're picking up on this person's energy on their vibration, which is causing them, which is causing you to remember them or to also think of them or to just, you'll notice that just thoughts of them randomly, unprovoked, will just pop into your head. This person is pulling on your energy. They want you to know that they're thinking about you. It's a situation where I feel like you've both hurt each other or this relationship unfortunately has suffered. And it feels like you're both holding on to what could have been. I do think that this person wants to come back. I feel like this is a past energy and they do think about reaching out. They do think about you know the possibility of reconnecting with you and reconciling um this could be you as well you know from time to time you still think about this person and you still think about and wonder if it's a good idea to reach out to them um just randomly just you know see how they're doing see if they respond see if they'd be keen to catch up so there is this this desire to reconnect and this person gets really you or this person you know you get really inspired when you think about the possibility of a reconciliation you get really excited about the just even thinking about it but then there's the five of uh five of wands no five of cups energy where thoughts of the past come swelling back in and it's like okay well it didn't work out the first time you know why would it work out this time or they've screwed it up badly how do they come back from this there's just this energy of regret this this energy that holds them back and it's an energy that weighs them down and it stops them from taking any action this person i feel like is still very much attracted to you like you have been You have been the most good-looking person they've ever laid their eyes on. In fact, I feel like when this person first saw you, they were speechless. Like, I feel like you've, you're the best that they've ever had. And if they tr are trying to replace you, I think this person certainly has had a hard time <coughs> replacing you. Um, I think you've also were quite attracted to this person. It does feel like whoever this person is, whether I'm talking, you know, it's the person that I'm talking to, it's the person that we're talking about they do come across as quite attractive very good looking and this person still feels in awe of you um and i do yeah i'm picking up the message that when they first they were a little speechless and i don't know if it's because you were the one to first make a move or they just felt that you were out of their league they were out of your league um They were, felt they were punching above their weight. I don't know, there's something, they were just really speechless when they first saw you. It feels like there is still, given the one's energy, despite what has happened, there is still a flame here. Now, the flame might not burn as brightly as it once did, but I don't think it has flickered out, flickered out entirely. So there is still the attraction there. And it's not just the physical attraction. You guys have, you shared a very strong emotional connection to this person. For one reason or another, you felt strongly and intensely connected to this person in a way that I feel like you've never, you've never had emotional resonance with anyone else the way you have with this person. You've never felt quite connected emotionally with anyone else the way you have with this person. You've never f felt quite as understood as you have with this person and you never thought that you would understand anyone as much as you did them so there is this strong emotional connection that you shared this emotional attraction that you shared with one another and this person can't get past that I feel like they can't get past I don't know if they've done something to have jeopardized or sabotaged the relationship I don't know if this is someone who has hurt you because look at the way that you know he's got the 
swords up in the air and some scattered on the floor like that and then we've got the multitude of swords here too so swords are a weapon right they inflict pain so you guys have obviously hurt each other with your words or with your actions or you know the way that you guys treated each other so there is this there's this pain that still lingers the two of cups is perhaps the biggest indicator here that there may still be a reconciliation with this person okay that you might still be able to reconnect this is an energy of this is an energy that's heavy with regret and i don't know if this is you or if it's your person or perhaps it's the both of you the past still has a strong hold on you or on this person i feel like there is someone new in this person's life or there may be someone new in your life but this person can't seem to quite connect with them not in the way that they feel they've connected with you even in the early stages and this person can't like every time they look at this new person they're reminded of you or they're reminded of something that you would do or if it's you you know whenever you look at this new person you can't help but draw comparisons you can't help but you know wish that maybe it was them instead of this new person so i think the past and maybe they're just not ready the past has a very strong hold on you or on this person and they're just not ready to let that let you go or to let the past go the two of cups that stand behind this cloaked figure um, is a strong indication that not all is lost there is still something there for you to hold on to there is still something there that can be salvaged there is still a flame that burns okay it may not be as bright as it once was because at some point it was this massive fire um, and right now it may not be as bright or as big but there is still something between you there is still something there and you know it and you can feel it and i think this is why whoever this may be is having a hard time letting go because they know at the end of the day that there's still something there to hold on to, even if it's something very small. I feel like you can, you, I feel like you've had a, like a very strong, maybe even a psychic connection with this person. And I do think that you can feel this person. You can feel them thinking about you, daydreaming about you, fantasizing about you, wishing for you. You can feel this person's energy. They too can feel your energy at times as well. They can feel that you're communicating through, you know, waves of energy. Even if you guys aren't necessarily communicating um, with words. I feel like there was maybe, I don't know if you've left things on a bit of a, like on a bit of an awkward note. I don't know if there was a lot of, fighting or a lot of back and forth between the both of you a lot of disagreeing um, a lot of tension here but it feels like this person is still quite worked up or it feels like there's still whatever this is it doesn't feel like it's resolved between the both of you um so if you guys fought a lot or if you've had a lot of tension it just feels like it hasn't dissolved it hasn't it hasn't dissolved it hasn't been resolved and it feels like then someone is still bitter or someone is still brooding or someone still feels hurt, they feel frustrated. Like the energy feels very agitated, it feels very frustrated. They just feel like maybe they wanted you to try harder, maybe they wanted you to fight harder for the connection. Okay? Or maybe you regret not trying harder, not trying not fighting hard, not fighting. not having thought for the connection as much as you should have it's just this energy of yeah you should have fought harder you should have tried harder you should have done things differently so and this is an interesting energy i wouldn't be surprised if it is someone that you end up hearing from i wouldn't be surprised if there is still something because i feel like there's some sort of connection i feel like you might hear from this person or you might need to reach out and connect with them and it's like there's some there's something there that still connects the both of you so maybe they have some of your stuff or maybe you need to contact them because you you genuinely need something from them so there's something there that i feel like is very small 
but it's very significant in the way that it's it's going to connect the both of you together and you might pick up conversation back up again because of this thing there was an age difference here or an age gap someone who was um younger or older strong air energy is coming through gemini libra and aquarius strong fire energy aries leo sagittarius we've also got water pisces cancer scorpio of course there could be an earth sign it may just not have popped up five six seven i feel like the number five i think is very significant here it's come up twice so maybe on the fifth of this next month or in five days five weeks maybe not as long as five months but we can't rule that out there may be contact there may be communication you might hear from this person you might reach out to them um, you might receive some sort of news about this person there's water there's water here around this person I don't know if they live near the beach or they're traveling. They've, they're now in a place where I feel like maybe it's like an island or they, they live close by to water. Maybe they moved. But it feels like they're next to an ocean or a beach. They may surf. They may, be, they may swim. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of water here around this person. Could be a strong water energy. All right, guys, these are your messages. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for your time, your energy, your attention. Um, please show your support to the channel if you haven't already by liking, sharing, and subscribing. All the best. Bye for now.